Good morning, Belen. I'm Mark Novus. And I'm Ricky Labrada, and welcome to this edition of WBLN for today, May 19th, 2016. Well, guys, today's a big day for the Wolverines as the baseball team heads up to Fort Myers to take on Gaither High School at JetBlue Park. But first, let's get to some big news. There's a lot of things happening around campus, but switching gears to the latest, what's developed overnight. It was a tweet from Egypt, Egypt Air that informed the world that Flight 804 had disappeared from radar early Thursday morning. The plane left Paris at 11.09 p.m. local time. There were 66 people on board from a dozen nations on board. 56 were passengers, including two infants and a child. There were 10 crew members, two cockpit, five cabin, and three security. Flight 804 was bound for Cairo, where it should have landed at 3.15 a.m. Airline officials say the plane was between Greece and Egypt, flying at 37,000 feet when it went missing. Greek and Egypt rescue crews are searching the southern Mediterranean by air and by sea. The airline says last contact with the jetliner was 280 kilometers or 175 miles off the Egyptian coast. That's about halfway between Greece and Egypt. Congratulations to Michael Cairo who won an honorable mention at, tonight, at last night's Silver Knight ceremony for his project in the category of speech and debate. He received a plaque and a, leader and a scholarship check for $500. The tech team is getting ready for the iPad refresh before we leave for summer. All students with the iPad Air will be receiving an iPad Air 2 with 64 gigabytes of storage in space gray. Please check your email for more information and on the return and pickup process. If you have any questions, please contact the tech team at support at belenjesuit.org. Belen Summer Camp is looking for junior counselors and counselors in trainings and lifeguards to join our 2016 Summer Camp staff. Applicants must be 15 years or older prior to June 16th and being good academic standing with a clean disciplinary record. Applications are available at BelenSummerCamp.org. Junior counselors and counselors in training applications are due by May 16th, May 17th. Senate Democrats make an effort Wednesday to push ahead with President Obama's Supreme Court pick, Judge Merrick Garland. Senate Democrats filed in one by one for a mock hearing in March. President Obama nominated Garland to replace Justice Anton Scalia, but his nomination essentially stalled because Sen Senate Republicans refused to hold confirmation hearings. Since the Democrats, the Senate minority, can't officially hold a hearing, these members of the Judiciary Committee held a so-called non-hearing with paper nameplates, witness testimony, minus Garland himself, and not one Republican in sight. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau angered some of the members of the opposite party after he was accused of manhandling the leader of the opposition party. You can see here in the video Prime Minister Trudeau walking up to the opposition, Whip Gord Brown. He grabbed him and led him away. He also elbowed Parliament member Ruth Ellen Brazu in the process. This happened while the members were gathered for a vote on the physician assisted death bill. Trudeau later apologized for his actions, which were deemed by some as violent. I took it upon myself uh, to go and assist him forward, uh, which was, which was, I uh, now see, unadvisable as a course of actions, uh, and resulted in uh, physical contact in this house uh, that uh, we can all accept uh, was uh, un, uh, un, unacceptable. And I apologize for that unreservedly. Uh, and I look for opportunities uh, to make amends uh, directly to the member uh, and to any members uh, who uh, feel uh, negatively impacted uh, by, this, uh, by this exchange and intervention uh, because I take responsibility. The Prime Minister says he grabbed Mr. Brown because he was t talking too slowly ahead of the vote. This Thursday afternoon has been rescheduled not to cause conflict with anyone that would like to attend the baseball game today. The elections will take place on Wednesday, May 25th during homeroom. This spectacular sight was captured in Maine on a police car's dash cam Tuesday. 
a police sergeant was on patrol early Tuesday morning in Portland when the camera recorded a bright and burning mass hurtling through the sky. The American Meteor Society says it received 240 reports of sightings from people living from New Jersey to Quebec, Canada. The society believed it's a fireball, which is what they say is a very bright meteor. They say several thousand similar objects fall into Earth's atmosphere each day, but we usually don't see them because, they fall usually ha because the fall usually happens during the daylight or over un uninhabited areas. Now stay tuned as we bring you weather and sports right after these messages. Hey guys, we're getting things ready for the Belen Youth Mission Trip, so we're having the drive. Uh, to collect all the things that we're going to need to be able to take over there and also distribute to the poor campesinos in the Dominican Republic. So non-prescription medicine, any of the toiletries like uh, toothpaste and uh, toothbrushes and anything that you can bring for us that will help out in being able to distribute to the people who very much need it over there would be great. So I encourage you try to participate, bring stuff in and help Belen Youth Missions. <laughs> Good morning guys. Hey, it's finally game day, so let's take a look at the map. As you can see, the south area where Key West is is getting battered by rain, but luckily for all you baseball fans, traveling to the game in Fort Myers should be fine because look, there's no cloud coverage. So let's look at the highs and lows. Should be high 86 and lows 77 with relative humidity at 71%. The winds coming from the south at 11 miles per hour. Should be thunderstorms with an 80% chance of rain. And for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we should be expecting highs in the mid 80s and lows in the mid to upper 70s with a low chance of rain tomorrow, but on the weekend it should be pretty rainy, so uh, keep your mind on that. That's all for weather, now let's pass it on to sports. Well, thank you, Frankie. Attention any current 8th, 9th, 10th, and 11th graders interested in varsity co cross country. There will be a meeting on Wednesday, May 18th at 3.30 p.m. We will be meeting in the wrestling room. All you need to enter is the desire to race. Any athletes who did not attend the varsity or junior varsity sports banquet, again, you can pick up your letter from Coach Victor's office the entirety of this week. Well, today is the varsity baseball game, and they'll go up against Gator High School. The game will take place at JetBlue Park, and game time is 1 p.m. You can check out all the listings on Twitter. Our own Nick Harvahal will be keeping you updated. This Friday morning during homeroom, there'll be a donut sale. Members of the varsity football team will be coming to each homeroom. Donuts are one dollar each and can also be purchased by the dozen. Good luck to all you guys. Now that's all for sports and back to you at the desk. Before we sign off with this year, we would like to thank everyone for watching and tune in next year when we will bring you new stories, new crew members, new set and much, much more. Be sure to follow us on YouTube, Twitter and Facebook for all the latest news and pictures. I'm Mark Novus and I'm Ricky Labrada and from everyone here at WBLN, have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and stay Golden Wolverines.